Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Barnet and Southgate College webinar for the construction department here at our campus at Collindale. Uh, my name is Niad Kapti. I am the curriculum manager um, for the department. And through this webinar, we'll be going through the different things or the different courses that we offer here, the support we can provide you as a prospective student. If there are parents in the room as well, um, again, you'll get a feel of, of what we do and how we operate uh, going forward. Um, so I'm going to start this process and this um, presentation um, and then we'll go forward from there. Um, as we move on from this, um, you won't be able to speak to me through this through this uh, presentation. So if you do have any questions, please put it in the Q&A bar um, that you should have um, access to. And then at the end of the presentation, I will have a look at it um, and I'll answer any questions you've got um, and go through some of the things that you may not have, uh, have uh, understood or, um, or need further clarity on uh, to develop it to go forward hope that all makes sense so let's get started on this um so construction in london is a massive thing at the moment as you know there's plenty of things happening in and around the london areas such as housing of new bills and, and the existing housing areas that we've got and the developments of those the regeneration of underused spaces so whether that's play areas whether that's sports fields whether that's actually getting housing and flats um you know within the city centers set up and and, and aspects like that and environmental issues which cover areas such as green space and the green belt and you know where you can build certain structures and and the use of them and the developmental of the you know uh, global warming and you know um, keeping, I suppose, the environment, you know, um, development in, uh, developmental, sorry, in terms of its safety and for the um, development of the, the, the universe, I suppose, or the world as, as such, as they say. Um, so employment within the construction area is quite popular within London. So there's Crossrail, which has the largest construction project across um, London, and it's expected to cost over 17.6 billion when it's completed. So there is employment opportunities within the Crosswell within London. Um, the Heathrow expansion, there's always been talk about whether they want to build an extra runway there because it brings in more income and generates more um, you know, income for the, for the UK economy. So Heathrow is the second busiest airport based on international passengers. Um, it accounts for nearly 75% of long haul flights to and from the UK um, and is the country's largest port of value for trade with countries outside the EU and Switzerland. Um, and there's also job opportunities. Um, these projects across England represent great opportunities for workers. Um, we have vacancies in certain areas which have gone up by 43% to 26,000. Um, salaries still remain above national average, um, but it, you know, depending on your experience and your expertise and your qualifications, your salaries will determine and change um, on, on how things go and develop. Um, so a little bit about Barnet and Southgate College and the actual construction department. So we are based at, in Collindale. Um, we, at, on site, we have a number of workshops. Um, so we have three plumbing workshops, which are fully equipped with the appropriate equipment that you'll need to complete your course. We have one carpentry workshop, we have two gas workshops, and we have a variety of IT suites and theoretical classrooms with high spec interaction whiteboards um, and screens for you to have your theory lessons in with your teachers. All your teachers on site in the construction department are fully qualified. They all have their teaching qualifications and they've all got experience within the field of either carpentry, plumbing, gas, or multi-skills and brick as well. We also have a brickyard, um, which is a large space, which we run our level one and level two courses from, but I'll go into a little bit further detail about that later on in the presentation. Um, as you can see on my slide there, it's a new building. It's around about four or five years old, this building. We have moved slightly down um, from Graham Park. Uh, the building is located very close to um, transport links, such as Collindale Underground Station. 
Um, my next slide will show you roughly where we're based. So you can see where Barnet Council is. We are just opposite Barnet Council on Bristol Avenue. Um, as you can see, we're only a short walk away from Colindale Station. Um, there's many buses that come through and stop right outside the, the, the college itself. Um, so the, the access points for, you, for yourselves is quite good. We're not too far away from the M1. If anybody was to, to travel in or if anybody was, any parents were to, to drop off their students or their child, sorry, um, to the college as well. Um, and locally as well, the, the, the area is developing and growing. Um, and there's, there's a lot of construction happening in Colindale at the moment with new, new high-raise uh, high flats um, being developed. Um, and like I said, there, there's offices being built um, as we speak um, around the area. Uh, moving on, so what do we offer? So I did say we'll talk a little bit about the courses that we do offer. So we offer a level one in multi-skills. Now this is a, a course which is for someone that's not too sure about what they want to go into or how they want to sort of develop within the construction area. Um, so it covers a variety of different um, fields. So in multi-skills, you'll learn about carpentry, you'll learn about bricklaying, um, and you'll learn about plumbing as well. So in, in our level one, we sort of provide this to learners that aren't too sure about where they want to go. They want to sort of get a feel of each of the different type of, um, you know, trades that we offer. Um, and what's important about this course is that it sets you up for the next level quite well, because you sort of get a little bit of a grasp from each, each sort of trade that you're learning on that. That's a one year course that we do. It starts at level one. Um, and alongside that, you probably do your English and maths as well. Um, we do brickwork. Um, so we do a level one and a level two brick laying course. Um, these courses, again, develop you and they progress you to, to sort of go on into employment. Um, you would always start off at level one to learn the basics um, and then you will develop uh, and go forward to a level two. After level two, um, we don't currently offer the level three brick laying course at the moment. However, you can go into employment with a level two brick laying qualification. A level three will just sort of give you that enhanced, um, you know, uh, knowledge and experience really in terms of um, understanding the actual uh, trade and the industry and, and how it operates before you go into employment. Um, we offer level one, level two, and level three plumbing. Our level one and level two plumbing are diploma courses and they're one year um, each. Our level three is the new level three technical qualification from city and guilds. So it's uh, a much more demanding course for you to actually achieve and to develop and, and to sort of, and really, really test yourselves on, on how you wanna really trade yourself as a plumber when you go out there and work. Um, we have gas apprenticeships um, and gas training as well. We run an MPL course in the evenings for gas and we run a gas apprenticeship, um, which tends to be two, two days a week in college. And then the other three days, you will be in employment working outside um, on the tools, as they say, um, with a company. Um, all these courses are available for young people and adults. When we say young people, we are talking about students that are from the ages of just leaving high school. So they've just completed their GCSEs and they're coming in um, at the age of 16 to 18. Um, when you really hit the age of 18 years old, you're regarded as an adult or 19. You're regarded as an, as, a, as an adult going forward. Um, and we offer some evening courses as well for adults because we know some of the adults that do want to come on, um, they, they do uh, work during the daytime. So there are a few courses that we do offer in the evening, one of them being the gas MPL course we've got and the other one being a level two plumbing diploma qualification, which is a fast track. Um, on your programme as a whole, we don't like to call it as a... Um, plumbing course or a brick laying course or um, a um, multi-skills course we like to call it your study program the reason why we call it your study program is because we are developing you as an individual and we're developing all your skill set that you have whether you're a young student or whether you're a mature student so on many of our vocational courses if you have not achieved a grade four or above, or in the old terms, a grade C or above in English or maths, 
you will be expected um, to, 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 to retake your GCSE English and Maths with us um, because it was only going to help you in the future in terms of you achieving those qualifications. Um, that is that is added on to your hourly um, uh, course study that you have throughout the week. So on average, if you was doing an English and Maths course, you're looking at around about anything between 13 to 15 hours a week of your study program with English and Maths attached. Within your course, as you know, anything to do with construction is very much hands-on, is very much practical. So you do spend a lot of time in our practical workshops. As I mentioned before, we have state-of-the-art facilities, we have three plumbing workshops, one carpentry, two gas, we have a brick lane workshop as well. Um, and all of these things are provided with you. As you can see in that picture there, all the equipment is used, it's all supplied to you. Um, you develop and how you use that. All these tools that you do use within the workshops, they are the tools that you would use when you go out and work in the in you know uh, in employment. So you are learning literally hands-on skills to go out there and be ready for employment if anybody wishes to take you on or if you apply for any roles. Um, you as a learner, you are important to us. So our support for you guys is very strong. Um, you will get this in two ways as a one-to-one -one with your own personal tutor. They will sit down with you um, throughout the academic year and they will tell you about your progress and your development and where you can improve as an individual, not only as a person, but also within your own course and, and your knowledge and your gaps in knowledge. And also you'll have in-class support, not only from your teacher, but from a technician and also from your own peers that are in the class. Um, we have good links with employers and other providers. So we have links with universities and we have link with the local borough and the uh, local uh, employers uh, around here. So things like Volts Patrick, um, Cadent, uh, Blue Flame, City and Guilds, um, we all have good links with them. And we all try and work with them well to try and set you guys up for your next step once you leave us, whether that's employment, whether that is um, going to your next level of study. Um, we have very good high pass success rates when we when we take you on here. We do try to make sure that every student that we do take on leaves here with a qualification. Um, no matter what your circumstances, the support will be there for you and it will be there to help you succeed at the end of the course. Um, we have a diverse staff and student population here. So when you do come um, with us and study with us, you know, it, you will be mixing with a variety of different cultures, religions, faiths, you know, females, males, you know, uh, individuals in there. Um, and you will be learning, you know, about each other and respecting each other's, uh, you know, aspects and needs and, and developments. Um, and we do, like I said before, we have very modern workshops and classrooms, which help us develop and go forward. Uh, before I just move on, just again, anyone that's, that's joined in late, if you do have any questions, please put it in the Q&A. Um, I will have a little look after this presentation and see what there is on there um, once I've stopped sharing the presentation and, um, and I will answer your questions. So if you do have anything, uh, please put it in the Q&A box. Thank you. Um, as I mentioned briefly before about maths and English, um, all your English and maths, you know, as much as um, they, are, they are pinnacle for you to, to sort of gain and achieve, we do relate them as much as we can to your main subject. So whether you're doing a functional skills um, maths or English class, or whether you're doing a GCSE maths or English class, we will try and relate it to your main subject. So therefore you're working towards um, you understanding how it will help you and how it will aid you in your next step or within your employment, okay? Um, it's taught by the construction specialists as well. So within your actual class itself, whether that's plumbing, brick laying, or um, multi-skills, your construction teacher, they will embed English and maths into your class without you even knowing. So a simple thing would be about working out measurements or working out ratios or working out, you know, how far do I need to pen, uh, bend a certain pipe for my plumbing? You know, how long does a, a brick wall need to be? You know, what ratio of mortar and water am I going to be using um, to create my, you know, uh, my concrete mix? 
Um, so without you even knowing, you know, you, you know, we'll, we'll incorporate that within within your lessons. Um, we will use the use of IT wherever possible. So we use things like Microsoft Teams um, as an interactive tool with all of our students where we communicate with yourself um, and developing um, that rapport and that um, cohesion within our group. So we'll have Microsoft, um, we'll have a, like a Teams page set up for, you, for, for yourself um, and with your colleagues and with your tutor in there. And it's a form of communication um, to discuss ideas, to discuss anything that, that might be on your mind, anything course related. Um, and also you can use that as, as a way of messaging your own tutor as well, um, if you've got any concerns or worries or if you've got any questions for them. Um, support. So again, like I mentioned before, just previously within the within the, the presentation, the support for yourself as an individual is very, very important for us. So there's four elements here that you will get support in. That'll be academically, personally, employment and in English and math. So let's start off with the first one academically. So when you first come on to the course in September, OK, you will have an initial assessment through that initial assessment and through the grades that you bring in, we can determine which course we will put you on. OK, through that conversation with one of the specialist tutors, they will guide you, they will support you, they will help you and say, listen, we believe you should start on a level one, a level two. We believe this pathway is more suited for your um, you know, your goals or your expectations that you want to try and achieve when you get onto the course. Throughout the whole academic year, you were designated one personal tutor that will help you and support you for your academic studies. They will go through your tracking. They will go through your progress. Um, three times throughout the year, you will get a progress review, which will be um, telling you about your performance and how you're developing. And it will give you your strengths and areas of improvement and how we think you can develop further. Um, and then by the end of the academic year, you know, we will hopefully have you finishing off the course um, and achieving your level one or level two qualification with us. Um, from a personal perspective, it's not just about you coming in, getting a qualification and leaving. It is also about setting you up and building you up as an individual. So as a young person coming through from school, you know, it's about developing you as an individual and developing those needs for your next step. So again, within our college, you know, we have a careers team, we have welfare, safeguarding, you know, your own personal tutor will be first aid qualified and, and, and will be trained in how to support any personal issues that you may have that may come out through the year to support you through that. As we know, you know, we've gone through a, through a difficult time at the moment through COVID, which has affected many of us in different ways. So again, it's that emotional support that we will put in there for you as well. Um, employment is a key thing within construction. Everybody that comes in with us, our main aim for them really is to go into employment and go and work for someone um, that they've done their field in, whether that's plumbing, bricklaying, or um, carpentry, um, or, or, or multi-skills. So our main aim really is by the time you leave us, we want you to go away. We want you to be employable. We want you to go and work for one of these big companies that, that we've got. Um, that we've got links with and we will help you set up those different types of um, interviews with them we will help you with cv writing with cv building um, and we will also help you with trying to find and source you know work experience and employment whilst you're with us um, english and maths we do get students that come onto the course english you know may not be their first language so we have specific, you know, individuals within the college that will give you one to one support to help with your English to understand grammar, spelling, punctuation, um, keywords and things like that. So, um, you know, we, we've got all of that in place for you if you're worried about your level of English and maths that you have. But please don't worry about that. We've got the specialist people in to help you with that. Um, and we want you to achieve your GCSE at the end of it. We want you to develop. We want you to achieve your GCSE at a grade four. Um, or if you're doing a functional skills, we want you to be leaving us with a level one, level two functional skills by the end of it as well. Um, again, just to reiterate the point, I can't interact with you um, speaking to you. So if you do have any questions, please make sure you put it in the Q&A bar for those people that, just, that have just come into the room. Please put it into the Q&A bar and at the end of the presentation, I will catch up and uh, I will answer those questions for you. 
Um, so just from the previous slide, we talked a little bit about employment, um, looking at work placements. So what we do whilst you come onto our course, we do place you and we do set aside a day a week within your timetable where you will uh, go and do work placement. So we will we will source a work placement for you, or if you know an in, or if you know a company, or if you're working for a company already that you can do your work experience. We do expect you to to sort of complete anything between thirty to one hundred hours worth of work experience. Some of us are lucky; we can get a work experience placement, and the the company that you work for will pay you for that. But at the end of the day, it's for you to go there to learn, to experience, and to understand how it is to actually work on you know a construction site as such whether that's a building site whether that's working you know with a private company you know looking at bathroom fittings whether that's working you know within a carpentry workshop building stairs or, or loft staircases and things like that um it's your it's your chance really to really go in there show what you know show what you can do and really sell yourself to that employer and if you can do that you're going to increase your chances um of employment um, when you're with us, where does this sort of lead you and where do you sort of go? So really some people tend to leave us and go off and do an apprenticeship. Um, and with that apprenticeship, what they tend to do is they, you know, like I said, they'll, they'll do one day a week of college and they'll, they'll work for the four to five days, um, on, on, on the tools in, in the field. Like I said before, we offer gas. Um, we're not offering a plumbing apprenticeship at the moment, but we are looking into that. Um, and we are looking at in, into offering a bricklaying apprenticeship as well going forward. You can go into your higher level of study. So if you start at level one, you can then progress from level two to level three. Um, or even some people, if they want to go into the construction trade, they may go and do a university degree within that area or field. It could be surveying. It could be about um, the, you know, development of, um, of, of, of buildings and being architecture. Um, and, you know, it, it depends where you sort of want to go, but you'll have those conversations with your personal tutor. Um, and then employment. That's, you know, that's the biggest success, I think, if you're able to go into employment and get and get paid work, um, you know, after finish your qualifications with us, that will help and develop you to go forward. So when you come to us, what do we expect? So we've got high expectations here. We've got high standards here at Barnet and Southgate College. Um, we expect you to attend well um, at all your lessons and be punctual. You know, um, we're preparing you for the working world. We're preparing you for what the working world is expecting from you, you know, um, and where, you know, some of us would, you know, would, would always love a day off in, in the week somewhere here and there. But at college, you know, we're developing that. And we want you to attend your lessons because the moment you miss a lesson is the moment that you're, you're, you've got a gap in your knowledge and your understanding. And that could be the difference between you getting a job and not getting a job, because that could be the one, the, the one lesson that you missed. And it could be what, you know, it could have got you employed. So we expect a minimum of 95% attendance um, and 95% punctuality to all lessons, including English and maths. We expect a high completion of work of what is what has been set. So as you can see in the picture on this um, slide that I'm showing you now, it's an assessment going on of building a corner um, uh, wall uh, unit. Um, so depending on that, it, this student in this picture will be getting assessed on what they're using, the apparatus they're using, and whether that's completed to a high level. So any work that you set practically or homework that you would have been set, we expect it to be in and to a high level. Um, you know, we expect you to be, you know, very open and transparent with us and keep that channel of communication with us as well. So if you are struggling with anything, whether that's academically, whether that's personally, we are here to support you and to help you uh, get through any troubles that you may have. You know, you may come to us and be absolutely fine and fly through the year, which will be brilliant as well. But we know that there's are 
there are times throughout the year where people do struggle, you know, whether that's motivation, um, whether that's finding something too difficult, whether that's just, you know, you, you may have failed an assessment and you're thinking, how am I going to pass this second time? Just know that the team will support you and guide you through that and, and, and help you develop that to, to make sure you achieve your qualification at the end of the academic year. Um, I think this next one's a, a given really is, is be respectful to your peers and, and to your to the staff at the college. I think, you know, respect is something that is earned and, and gained quite quickly. So I think when you're in class and when you've got your teachers on, on site as well, it's about being respectful to them and, and, and showing that respect. And that goes both ways, not only from, from you as a student to the college, but also from the college to the student as well. And the bottom one, I think, is, is, is vital, is, is enjoy yourself and achieve what you can achieve by the end of the academic year. So if you don't come into the college to enjoy, to, to have, you know, a, a, a fulfilling experience with us, um, and at the end of the day, if your aim at the end of the course is not to achieve it, then you're coming to the wrong college because we want you to come, have fun, achieve, and then develop to go forward from there. Um, the next slide is just my contact details. So I will keep it on the screen for just a moment before I finish off. Um, so like I said before, my name is Niad Kapdi. I am the curriculum manager for Collindale. Uh, my email is there, uh, niad.kapdi at barnetsouthgate.ac.uk. Um, you can contact me by telephone on 0203. 764449. Um, and I always recommend you all to go to our go to our website, which is www.barnetsouthgate.ac.uk. On there you will you will find a range of our courses of what we have to offer for you. Um, again, you can have a look at the different levels that we offer. You can have a little look at our um our workshop and our facilities there's a nice video on the website as well where i'm just doing a tour of our facilities where you can see um of what we can offer for yourselves um and you can also apply online as well so do look at that do get your application in early for the next intake of um september 2022 um, so we are looking at running you know future open days and virtual open days and, you know, with this COVID at the moment, we are looking at running some face-to-face -face interaction as well on that. Um, so do apply online and then we can go from there. Yeah. Um, so that's the end of the presentation. What I'm going to do going forward uh, now is just close this presentation now and then just look at some of the Q&A that's come through. So I've got a few questions that have, that have popped through, really. So I'm just going to have a little look at that. Um, I'll, I've got quite a few, so I might not be able to go through all of them, um, but I will try and, and have a look and see what we've got on that um, and, and develop from there. So just bear with me here. So we've got one question here about uh, where is the college located? So as I said in the presentation, we do have um, uh, our Collindale campus is located on Bristol Avenue. Um, the postcode is NW49BR. Um, so if you put that into your search engine or into Google, you'll see where we're located and where we are. Um, and that will be there. Um, so that's the postcode one. Um, someone's asked here if I already have functional skills. That's fine. If you've already got a functional skills qualification, um, if that's at level one, um, you will be expected to do the GCSC with us next year. Um, however, if you have a level two functional skills, you will not have to do um, a functional skills with us um, on there. So I'll just repeat that postcode is NW49BR for the person that's asking. Um, and that's on Bristol Avenue. So that's NW49BR. Um, Another thing someone's asked is about bursary. So we do offer a bursary scheme here where you do get funding um, for travel, um, for kit, and you do get paid roughly about £22 a week if you, are, if you qualify as a 16 to 18 year old. Um, so it is, a, it is a form that you do fill out at the point of, um, 
app, uh, at enrollment. Um, and it does take about three or four weeks for you to get the application through and then processed. Um, there are certain things you need to provide and develop. Um, and, and you can sort of uh, see what else you can get on there. You can get free school meals as well attached to that. Unfortunately, that's not available for the mature students. So if you're older than 19 years old, um, you do not get that. Unfortunately, it's only for the people that um, are um, that are 16 to 18. Um, I've got another question here about how much do courses cost? So the courses are is, is a variety of courses that you have. Um, so if you're a mature student and if you're an adult over the age of 19, it does depend on your um, circumstance of your income. Um, if you are on any types of benefits, um, I cannot tell you in depth in terms of what benefits will sort of get you the course for free or get you get you subsidized. But um, when you come in for enrollment, when you speak to our enrollment team, they will be able to advise you further on how things are and how things develop on that. So do do please come in and don't be don't be scared of the price of that, because for most cases um, it is reduced or it can be for free um, for many of you. Um, another question we've got here is just about um, uh, work, work attire and, and what you wear in a workshop. So when you're in the workshop, um, you are expected, you know, to wear uh, full, you know, PPE equipment. So it will be, you know, types of uh, goggles that you will wear. Sometimes, depending on where you're working, it will be a hard hat. Um, you will have to wear steel cap boots um, as well that we expect the students to buy. Um, you will wear high visits within the practical workshops as well. So those will all um, sort of uh, play, play a key role in you understanding how you would work, you know, in, in employment of um, going forward. Um, someone's asked as, as well about parents evening, if there are some, we do hold parents evening throughout the year. Um, there's three in total that we do. Um, one is at the start of the academic year, around about October time, where it's, well, we call it meet you know, meet the tutors. We then have another one around about February, March time to, to see how your son or daughter is doing. Um, and then we have one near the end around about May or June, where it's more of a progression um, into progression sort of meeting to see what the next steps are um, and where to go and where to develop on that uh, to go from there. Um, another question we've got here is just regarding around about um, do we have a canteen on site at Collindale? We do have a small canteen on site, um, which offer hot food. Um, it offers sandwiches. You can, you know, it's got a Starbucks attached to it. So if you want a coffee or a latte, you can have that as well. Um, that, that's on site there. Um, and obviously outside of college, you know, there are local shops and, and supermarkets around that you can also go to as well. Um, you know, if you have a break within your timetable. Um, another question here is about how, how often do timetables sort of work and operate? So we try and keep timetables to around about four days a week. Um, some days will be full, a full day, so it'll be a nine o'clock till around about a half four. Um, other days will be a half day, so it can be from nine to one, or it could be one till about half four, five o'clock. So we do try and mix it around a little bit where... Um, you know, you're not in for a full day as such across two or three times. So we do try to keep timetables as fluid as possible and develop that um, to ensure that it suits your needs as well. Um, and like I said, we do keep one day free in the week for you to do your work experience or for work that you may have. Um, someone else also hears us about a library. So we do have a library on site where you can do extra study as well. Um, you can go there in between lessons if you've got a gap to, to sort of go and catch up with work or if you want to do some extra further um, research on a specific topic that you're not too sure about. Um, we have support coaches within our libraries as well that, that can help you and aid you and, de and develop um, some skill sets that you think you may need to, may need to, to, to work on um, to go to that next level. Um, and it's a quiet area as well, so you can go there peacefully and, and, and work and, and, and develop those skills as well and go from there. Um, that is everything that we've got for today. Thank you for all your questions um, going forward. I hope I've answered them. If I haven't, like I said, you have my contact details. 
um, or please do contact the college if I do not answer and somebody will get me get the message to me and I will respond to you at some point. Um, so please try and uh, apply online at our website, um, look at our courses, look at the video regarding our workshops and our actual facilities on site. Um, and I wish you a very good evening and take care. Thank you.